Yesterday, shots were fired in warning, but no blood was spilled as Russian and Ukrainian troops squared off against each other. Today, it's the politicians who will be nose to nose as diplomatic moves to defuse the crisis appear to be gaining traction. The American Secretary of State, John Kerry, arrived in Paris last night for the latest leg of his shuttle diplomacy. Travelling with him was Ukraine's foreign minister. For the first time since this crisis began, Kerry is due to meet his opposite number, Sergei Lavrov, who's been in Spain defending the Russian position. America has offered Moscow a diplomatic way out, but that depends on Russia pulling back its troops and accepting international monitors. Russia, if it wanted to help de-escalate this situation, could return its troops to the barracks, live by the 1997 base agreement, and de-escalate rather than expand their invasion. If Putin doesn't agree to those terms, America says it will pull out of the G8 talks planned for Sochi in the summer. President Obama has spent an hour on the phone to German Chancellor Angela Merkel discussing his potential solution. There's been no response from Moscow yet, but with Russian forces dominating the Crimean Peninsula, will Putin really be prepared to send them back to their bases? Andy Moore, BBC News.